Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about using underwater cameras to find fish on the late ice. This time of year is all about finding green weeds, finding active fish. You got to move around a lot. So what Caden and Rob are going to do today on a lake they haven't been out on this year, they're going to use the underwater camera to look around and try to locate pods of fish and green weeds. So Caden's punched a bunch of holes up and down this break line right here in a likely area. He's going to dip that underwater camera down and see if he can find something. And he's not even going to fish a hole that he doesn't see fish in, right? This is an efficient way to move around quickly and to be able to find fish. This camera gives you an awesome underwater view. He's looking for green patches of weeds and he's looking for active fish. When he finds active fish, he'll settle down, put the lines down, get out the vex, get going. But this time of year is all about those weeds. Oh, yeah, there's some fish down there. Look at that. It's nothing real big. Hello, Mr. Six seconds sitting down. We're doubled. We're doubled. What are you in for? Look at that. We doubled. So here, after finding the green weeds, finding the fish with the camera, Caden and Rob are starting to load up on them. And when these fish are firing, they're firing. On the ice, you want to keep that school active as long as you possibly can, right? Keep on those fish. You're seeing doubles here all the time. Caden and Rob are just simply dropping down, and they're making these fish come up to the bait, right? You drop that bait down to the level of the fish, slowly raise it, make that fish come up. And what those fish will tend to do is that entire school will move up in the water column and start feeding. So Caden and Rob are hovering these jigs over top of these fish. They're making them feed up. And the chances are if you can get fish to come up to a bait, they're going to eat it, right? Don't drop it all the way down on the bottom. Keep it over the top of their head. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Maybe give it a pause. And these fish are coming up to eat. And when they come up to eat, they hit it a lot harder. You can detect that strike a lot better. And you're just going to catch more fish. Oh, these are all... Oop. Use him for bait. Put him on tip up. Yeah. Nice. That one will take a knife. Put a knife in that one. Huh? So I'll put a knife in that one. Nice. Ooh. 
Ooh, you're all right, but... That's a decent one. That's like one that you, you know you'd practice Ooh. on the plastic. If they want it, they'll eat it. Look at that, he wanted it. It's like one you practice with though. Your first your first fish. four marks sitting there and that one come rushing in and it was that little guy don't understand sometimes Ooh, little. Uh, no that's not a little one that's a keeper <laughs> get that away from the hole You know, maybe last week was just an off week. I saw people posting all kinds of pictures, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, you know what, I was fishing on the same lake as you. Really makes you question your fishing abilities, huh? <laughs> Surprise, Kieran hasn't been lit up. That's kind of depressing. Go there last year, freaking catch. Jeez, OP. That is, oh, yeah. That's a crappie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little better. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what you're looking for. Shoo. Dang. I saw the freaking. <laughs> Just get that hook out. Lip that thing. Let's see it. Jeez, he almost got a schnauzer. Nice. That's a good 10 inch. Dang. Small Dang. Nice. Fishing with dad. Gosh darn it. Did you get pricked? Again. Maybe that's a sign. Oh, I know. Yeah. I can't argue that. Mm -mm. I liked them in Wisconsin. Yeah. Kept, saved our hands. Yeah. You know, that last day early early Ooh, I missed mine you got yours we're not saying where we're at well yeah we're not saying where we're at <laughs> we're on Chapman Lake somewhere on Coon they were the Coon Lake Coon Doggers on the pit they were the Leesburg pit bulls. Man. Laid into that one, didn't you? Um, Chapman Lake. Oh, it was Chapman Lake. Chapman Lake stink dogs. Ooh. I just want one to stop my rod. Yeah. Keep hitting the top of the... Come on.
couldn't have untangled yourself. Basically. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, sure. Oh, that's what I want to see. Oh, that right there. <laughs> Yeah, by the time I got my big bag down there, that fish is gone. That fish is gone. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're sitting here telling me. That's oh, toast. You know, that, that, that was my fish. Whatever. <laughs> Told you it was a big one. Yeah. Oh, on the plastic. I know everybody talks about plastics, but look at that. Get nasty with it. Lame plastic. So as you guys have seen, Caden and Rob got in a heck of a flurry here of some panfish. They're just using simple ice jigs, tungsten ice jigs with spikes. And what they're doing is they found these fish, they got on these fish, and they just keep catching them really quick this is like a 20 25 minute run here where they're just hammering panfish left and right and they're working through some of the smaller ones to get some of the bigger and better panfish this time of year it's all about catching fish here caden's got a decent crappie uh, it looks bigger coming through the ice than when it's in his hand um but the one thing you want to focus on this time of year is green weeds use that camera to find where they're at then pull that camera up when they start biting and get on them with that vex we hope you guys have enjoyed our videos lately. Please leave us a like, leave us a subscribe. Comment on what videos you want us to do next, guys. We're really open to doing anything you guys want to see. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Have a good one.